All right, good evening, and so glad you could join us online. And uh, well, we wish there were some people here in person, but Ann's here, so, uh, and the camera. We're glad to be at the Cultural Affairs meeting. We have a, a lot of stuff going on this month. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. Which is really the understatement of the day. Um, let's see, the ones I know of right now, on the 17th at the library, uh, there's two events at 2 o'clock. There's a poetry reading up in the Driscoll uh, room uh, at 2. And then downstairs in the Lingus Auditorium, I'll be down there and we'll have a children's book reading and uh, some patriotic videos. So uh, but hopefully both of those will be well attended. Um, coming up, it seems like it's so far away, but it's right around the corner on March 2nd, Saturday. At uh, 1 o'clock p.m., there'll be the first Irish concert at uh, here for the month of uh, St. Well, St. Patrick's Month, we call March. Uh -huh. And uh, so the very, it seems that every year we get to be the first weekend. So uh, at 1 o'clock, we'll have the uh, Irish traditional band uh, Marrow here uh, downstairs uh, be set up. And so we're looking forward to people coming to hear that. Mm -hmm. And uh, be a part of it. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. What was the other one? Uh, keep checking the website, uh, happeningandbrockton.com, uh, because uh, every once in a while there's a change of address for somebody, and then there's uh, some of the features that are happening during the month. Whoever sends them in to me uh, at the RDR Consult at gmail.com I'll get the uh, articles up there so if you have an event you know to send it to me so I think that's the only ones I know of off the top of my head except that Ann put this big list in front of me and all kinds of brochures but I'm sure she's going to cover them all okay I'll so try. come yep. on Ann all right okay so here we go the switch off and hello, Felicia, Carol, oh, Pam, look at, look John. At the camera. Okay, I'm gonna look <laughs> at the camera here. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, thanks for joining. We we still have people that are sick and whatever. You know, things are getting back on, and we're very pleased. To, and we hope that all of you are doing well. So anyway, Pat Monteith, you, you see her name uh, with the various planetarium activities going on at Council on Aging. I mean, people don't realize it. Council on Aging is temporarily at the Shaw Center, which is on one Feinberg Way, which they're a little, you know, hard to navigate, but it's right next to the fire station on the west side of Brockton and behind the West Branch Library. So that gives you a real indication. And there's so many things going on there. And you should check them all out. Now, um, we also want to let you know that our next meeting will be, and again, we'll do the hybrid and everything, and it will be March, uh, if I have this all correct, March 7th. I've already reserved the camera equipment. We'll still be here at North Baptist, 6 p.m. And um, as usual, these meetings do not take a long time. Feel free to email me stuff you want me to announce, etc. This will be edited tomorrow and be playing next week on Broughton Community Access. But meanwhile, there was so much going on. We're really glad that people are joining the Zoom aspect of it, and I get it. It's so convenient. Okay, um, there is a whole lot of activity going on for, uh, how would I say, the support. And they refer to it as the creative economy, okay? And right now, this is legislation, and there's some really vital here. An act to promote downtown vitality. And our state reps and senator were meeting on that. You can always call them at 617-722-2000 and ask for the extension, and they'll connect you up. And um, the more calls you make, the better, because then they get recorded, and it substantiates where they push the bills. But right now, this was very important, the, the whole idea of promoting downtown vitality. And there is an act to creating a program to increase cultural equality, equity, and tourism promotion. There's another bill, an act to improve accessibility, creative economy. And this is huge because this means someone physically challenged, uh, disability, you know, various mental health disabilities, 
and largely the, you know, those individuals with autism and uh, any other challenges for them, they come into the public. And also, they have um, one called um, the Place Act, which is establishing a program for local art and community engagement. For those of us that are involved with festivals and presentations and maintaining the community in some respect, this is huge. We've been lucky, we're very, very lucky. Our senator, uh, Mike Brady, is endorsing all of these. And um, this creative economy, and anybody that wants to hear more about this, none of this is top secret, they can go online to Mass Creative, and I gotta do this right, www.mass-creative.org. And they're on Facebook, etc. And they give vital information and training to let people know, and get this, there's even opportunities for internships, and you know, paid stipends, so this is huge. They've been around for almost 20 years now, and they've been instrumental in getting more funding for local community activities and projects. Meanwhile, when I was up there, you know, promoting all this and doing the begging thing, the New England Musicians Resource Fund, and this I'm passing on because some of you are involved, again, with festivals, and uh, this woman's name is Jody, and you can give her a call at 917-930. 6074, and she was psyched to meet someone from Broughton. So how's that for, you know, positive? <laughs> and, and she wanted to come down here and let people know about the, um, the funding they have available for, you know, uh, concerts and whatever. So someone here that's biased, meaning myself, and loves concerts, really was very happy to see her and pass this on. Okay, meanwhile, um, you know, we always want to hear announcements from you, so please, we want to um, let the parents and students know that the scholarship book um, at Broughton High School will be going out in the very near future. And there are so many scholarships available to students. And we all realize that college is not going to get any cheaper. And uh, we hope that you know, people have an opportunity here. The um, veteran VFW Post is doing a fundraiser. It is Saturday, February 10th. So for those of you on here, you can hear this. Um, and all the proceeds go to the auxiliary that gives, uh, contributes to activities and the needs of our veterans in, you know, this community and the surrounding community and their regulars helping those at um, the VA hospital, okay? All right, we're celebrating Black History Month throughout the community, lots of activities during school vacation. Most of those, I'll tell you, are at the Broughton Public Library System. The Fuller Craft Museum remains free to Broughton residents, and they have something kicking off um, February um, on the Red Dress, and we all know about the Red Dress and women in heart disease. So this being, you know, Valentine's Month and also, you know, awareness of women in heart disease. This is another fabulous event, and all these receptions are free to the public. And Fuller Craft Museum has activities also for the kids during February vacation, which, yes, by the time the rest of the public hears this, it will be a week before the kids go on vacation. Because that's uh, Monday, February 19th is President's Day, and they have that week off. Yes. Now, everybody better be planning to register to vote. We have the primary on March 5th. If you're not already registered, most of you, I'm sure, are. But that's just a reminder. You can do the early voting at uh, the Council on Aging again. So I want everybody to listen to that. Okay. And, you know, take advantage of that or vote definitely on Tuesday, March 5th. Okay, but, um, you know, I wanted to make sure. And everything so far, with the exception of the VFW Post fundraiser, is all free. So I don't want to hear people saying that it's breaking the bank here. Yeah. Okay, where are we? And okay, now I have to tell you this because there's so many great things that go on in the city. And I'm at church last week, and it's mobbed. Yeah. And they're recognizing a new Eagle Scout. The general's name is Aiden, young man, I should say. And the VFW Post hosts the Boy Scout meetings for weekly, uh, Thursday nights. And uh, again, this is free to check out. But this project was done at the Art Preschool. And um, I cannot emphasize this enough. 
um, the 40 they go to town with r doing raised beds. Yes, we're going to be talking about gardening soon and cleaning up the whole area and making it just a positive outdoor experience because after being in for so long, these kids like to get out, run around, get their energy. Now, uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, got to um, um, recognize that Broughton Garden Club, free to the public. Yes, this is funny. This is a chocolate tasting event. Doors open at 6.30 at Our Lady of Lords on Monday, February 26th. Come on down and taste the chocolate and learn about the different kinds and where it comes from. Our Lady of Lords is located, for those of you using GPS, at 439 West Street. But you park behind the building and go down in the elevator or to the basement where the whole, the whole thing is happening. Again, the doors open at 6.30 p.m. And uh, what else did I want to say? Oh, the Metro South Chamber of Commerce is holding their annual multicultural event. And this is huge. And, and well, Felicia can tell you, a lot of people attend. And it's wonderful. And interaction of small businesses, um, opportunities for those that want to go into business, just uh, the variety of things you can learn. It's free to the public. It's at Thorny Lee uh, Country Club. Um, and it's Thursday, February 29th, remember this is a leap year, starts at 5 p.m. and goes to 7.30, and it's just amazing, all the wonderful people you'll meet, all the activities that are taking place. Okay, now, wait a minute here, we have a couple more things. Okay, the Lenten luncheons begin at First Lutheran Church. They haven't changed your sign yet, it says First Evangelical Lutheran, but you're at the right place. Okay, that's at 900 Main Street. These free luncheons begin Friday, February 16th, okay, and they, the doors open at 1145, and there's a variety of different speakers. Uh, next Friday, it's uh, Counselor of Ward 4, Susan Castro. Following week, it's Old Colony Elder Services that are celebrating 50 years, and so, they do so many, so many things to service the community, and it's vital. And we can go on with the variety that's going to be taking place. I, I do want to mention on March 1st, we're going to have um, Blake uh, Dinius, who is with the Plymouth County Extension, and he's going to be talking about ticks. And I was like, oh, it's not summer. Well, I have a friend that was up in New Hampshire and got bit by a tick, and they have snow there. And uh, yeah, so people need to realize it's, it's year round, and yeah, here he is on an antibiotic and not feeling that great. So yes, I mean, all these are free. They have a lunch, you know, donations are accepted, all homemade lunches and marvelous desserts because dessert um, is a wonderful thing. But anyway, but they begin and if you're February 16th, we'll keep on announcing the different ones that are going to take place. Um, March, you know, um, not, uh, 8th, we have, um, oh, we have another, uh, the, Greater Brockton Mediation and Dispute Resolution. Again, they're with the Attorney General's Office Health you so you don't have to fork out millions to a, um, you know, seriously, to a lawyer for, a, you know, an issue that can be resolved. They are not lawyers themselves, but they will help you navigate the whole situation. They're located at 215 Main Street in the District Court. They're there Monday through Thursday. And you can, you know, find out a whole lot more about this. They'll be happy to speak with you. And as I go through the Broughton Garden Club, I just got to mention this. They're talking about gardening tips. And, of course, for someone like myself that sees little daffodil stems coming, 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 um, we're very excited. But in all seriousness here, they're, um, they have this whole announcement of the color trend of the year. And it's peach fuzz, so everything's going to be coral and peachy colored and all that uh, good apricot, all that good stuff. And considering that Easter is what, March 30th, uh, 31st, uh, yeah, we're going to be all, you know, getting ready for the Easter stuff. In the meanwhile, please take care of your pets. Consider those that, how would I say, are housebound. There are so many services in this city. And, you know, we have uh, individuals on here. We have Carol Griffin, and she's been involved with um, the Frederick Douglass um, play Park and, and what have you. 
and uh, Felicia, well, she's she's been involved with all sorts of things, Cape Verdean program, and Felicia is in, involved with, again, helping individuals and small businesses, and they're on um, Montello, North Montello Street, and um, for those of you that know, what well, St. Edith's Downs, it used to be St. Edward's. Sometimes you might have to park there because they run out of space at the Cape Verdean Association. It's not a secret, and they're there Monday through Saturday. Not all day Saturday, part of the way Saturday, but all day Monday through Friday, and um, there's just some amazing stuff there. I'm not going to forget Pat Monteith, who I email every couple, a few days, or you know, once a week there. Pat, did you see this? They discovered a new planet. Uh, Pat, did you watch this? And I just, I just think it's so great that she shares all her information with us, and then of course we follow up on different, you know, um, ideas and whatever. Again, please let people know all the great things that are going on in this community. Uh, remember that there are plenty of places for those that need it for, um, what do I want to say, um, food distribution and other um, necessities, whether it be BAMSI or, I mean, of course, I always think of the charity deal with food distribution, but I'm aware there's about six other churches, that six churches that do so. And I also don't want to forget that there's self-help that helps people with their heating bills. So, you know, it's out there, people. There's plenty of great stuff. Thanks, Mary Walden, for coming in and joining us. And Mary Walden has a whole lot planned for the months ahead as she starts to begin to talk about 150 years of Brockton. So people can check her out, uh, DBA, and there's been a whole lot of activity as I look in her on. She's probably going to be having a meeting coming up um, on Wednesday the 14th or Wednesday the 21st. And um, you can Zoom or hybrid those too. I copied her. Anyway, so I just want to thank everybody for joining. Like I said, these wow. meetings are short. We have all kinds of great announcements. Pastor Reed has one more. So everybody, please stay safe. Oh, and if you have any questions, you can also call me at 774-297-4939. Again, that number is 774-297-4939. Thanks for joining us. Okay. All right, Carol's not here to announce this, but she gets emailed it to me. And uh, on February 27th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Oh, good. At yeah. the gallery at Enzo Flats, 50 oh. Center Street, here in Brockton, uh, NAACP is sponsoring Why Don't We Vote? A <laughs> Call to Action. And oh, uh, wow, I've asked good. a lot of people that question. And I've heard a whole bunch of different answers, and none of them are good. So uh, why don't we vote a call to action on February 27th from 7 to 8.30 at, Enzo, at the gallery at Enzo Flats. So thank you, Carol, for sending that in. Oh, thank you, thank you. And uh, it's never too late to get your announcements in here. <laughs> it's like, as soon as I finished speaking, I checked my email. So again, we uh, checked the... Uh, Happening in Brockton.com to get the latest and greatest of what's going on. And when I get home tonight, I will edit it, uh, the page, so that it has next month's meeting on it. Okay. Uh, so that everybody's ready for that. So um, if you have things, just send them in, send them to Ann, send them to me, and we'll get them announced. And of course, to me, it get on the website and be there usually before the next meeting. So you can get a lot of mileage out of it. So thanks for coming tonight, and uh, we'll see you again in a few weeks uh, in the month of March. So thank you very much.